I'm Catherine Bealey. The League of Women Voters is committed to voter education. And to that end, we have asked our state treasurer, Marlo Oaks, to explain Amendment B, which will be on the ballot this November. Mr. Oaks. Thank you, Catherine. So it's important for people to understand um, right at the beginning that this uh, amendment is separate from uh, tax money. There's no tax money involved um, with this amendment. It, it really is the state land that was granted at statehood to support um, different institutions, primarily public schools. And so at statehood, there were there were millions of acres that were set aside and and money generated from from the management of those lands uh, then goes into a portfolio. And that investment portfolio is invested for the long term. It's invested like a university endowment, for example. Uh, and so every year, um, the idea is that, that a certain amount of money uh, can be spent on, uh, on the institutions that were identified as beneficiaries at statehood. And, and the bulk of the money is to, to support public schools. And so again, this is completely separate from tax money. There is no, no tax money involved here. These are monies that are generated from uh, land, that the activity that happens on state land uh, that was granted at statehood. Um, and so the portfolio has grown to about $3.3 billion. And so those, uh, the, the money in that portfolio will continue to grow over time. Um, but part of the fiduciary obligation uh, associated with managing the trust land system is to ensure that there is uh, some uh, sense of, of payout equality uh, between future generations and current generations so that, that current generations aren't disadvantaged by how much money is kept in the portfolio instead of being paid out to benefit them today. Um, and conversely, not paying out too much today versus future generations. And so there's been a significant amount of work done to identify um, uh, what we believe is an imbalance um, in the amount of money that is paid out today versus in the future. So right now we have a 4% cap in the constitution uh, a 4% limit on the amount of money that can be paid out of that trust fund. And the a constitutional uh, amendment would raise it to 5%. So that would essentially mean that more money could be paid out today to help today's children uh, versus um, keeping a, a little bit incremental amount of money in the portfolio for future generations. And so um, it's, a, it's a fairly... Um, a straightforward uh, amendment in terms of just the the one percent change, so going from four percent to five percent, um, and 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 really the idea is to uh, ensure that the money paid to today's children um, is of sufficient amount so that uh, uh, the money isn't just building up in the portfolio for for the benefit of future generations. So, um, as an example. And if the limit were in place last year, so fiscal year 2024, um, we could have paid out 120 million um, to, to schools. And it go, this money goes to the school uh, community council uh, made up of educators and parents at each school. So 120 million could have been uh, sent. Instead, because of the 4% cap, we could only pay out 106 million. So it's an incremental, you know, 14 million this last year based on the formula. Uh, if if you think about the size of of the public school budget, it's in the billions of dollars, um, and 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 that is, you know, based on on tax money. This is a, a this is a separate program. This money, again, is generated from state uh, land. Uh, that was granted at statehood for the benefit of, of primarily public schools. And that money goes directly to the school community councils. And those community councils comprised of parents and educators determine what needs they have specifically at their school. And then they can use this money um, coming, coming from uh, the, the trust portfolio to address those specific needs. It's completely independent of, of tax money. It, it does not impact uh, taxes in any way. Um, and so this amendment simply allows more to be paid 
out of that um, portfolio, that $3.3 billion portfolio, um, than is currently allowed under the Constitution where it's capped at 4%. So uh, the cap would simply move to 5% and allow uh, the ability to pay out more today. Um, so hopefully that that's, uh, uh, helps clarify and, and really appreciate the opportunity to come on and explain a little bit more about Amendment B. Thank you so much. That does help. I'd like to remind everyone to go to vote411.org where you can see everything that's on your ballot, including the amendments. Thank you very much.